A team led by the University of Texas at Austin studied samples of the rocks that filled the crater caused by the asteroid. And it found proof the impact sparked wildfires, a huge tsunami, and plunged the Earth into such darkness it ultimately killed off most of life on its surface. Well, I've been discussing the findings with the study's lead author, Dr. Sean Gulick, a research professor in geophysics at the University of Texas in Austin. What we uh, just published today is uh, looking at about 130 meters of drill core um, that are fantastic in the fact that they record basically the first 24 hours after the asteroid struck from the perspective of within inside the crater in the Yucatan. First of all, we were able to uh, describe how the crater formed, how the, the ocean rushed back into the crater and filled it up very rapidly, how um, the, the outgoing tsunami that left the crater bounced back off of the mountains in Mexico and came screaming back into the crater. And then perhaps most importantly for the extinction story, we both found charcoal telling us about worldwide wildfires, as well as the absence of the sulfur-rich rocks that we know were in the impact site. And since they were not there where we drilled, we suspect that these were put into the atmosphere and would have caused global cooling and darkness after the impact. Uh, what would it have been like from a dinosaur's perspective? Well, if you're a, a land dinosaur and you were a large and outside, you probably were getting killed that very day by the incoming ejecta from the crater, changing the temperature of the surface of the Earth, causing wildfires, and so on. But if you were one of the large green reptiles, sometimes mistaken for thought of dinosaurs, you probably survived for a while. Or if you were a small dinosaur, you probably survived only to die because of the changes of the climate wrought by all the gas released from the impact, all the sulfur going into the atmosphere. 